big mango coming at you from some ancient temples in the heart of Seren. I did ask someone what they were called, but I can't fucking remember. It's on that sign if you want to bore yourself to death. But anyway, I've had a, I've had a ride out here, it's about 30 kilometres to these ancient ruins, uh, the bit similar to like the Khmer temples, uh, Khmer temples, these are Hindi temples, uh, the same as uh, Angkor Wat and so so. So I'll flip you around, I'll show you what it's like around here. Got some shops there. We just actually got a ice latte from that woman there. Pretty nice. Absolute scorcher. That's why I'm standing in the shade. I'll take you a walk through. There's the little office spot there. Another dog. Look, two dogs. <coughs> Most uh, temples you go, you get the uh, the dogs here because obviously they get, they're selling food here. You've got like a barbecue man and all that kind of stuff. And these people at the end of the day must feed them the scraps or whatever. That's why the dogs keep hanging around. But uh, I've got some fish food, and I'm going to show you. See how many fish that come to the surface. So I'll let me flip you around. There's Bam in the distance. She's got the bait. Oh my God, there's loads Bam. Ah, where's my river? Oh, 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 uh, give me a bit more, but I'm not sure what will go. Let me flip you around. Oi! <coughs> oh my god. There's lo many here, isn't there? Loads. Where's that big catfish going? I won't get them back up. Yeah, they like uh, tilapia. They're not very big. You're not even a pound, half a pound. Yeah, like a big shoal catfish there. Look at all the whiskers. Big shoal of catfish. Oh, big one. Oh, there's a big one. No, put your hand in there. Get it. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh my god, it's huge there. Couple of big ones in there. Ooh, big one. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, big, big, big. Ooh, the big, big one over there, dude. Come. <laughs> I'm not sure if the sun's uh, knackered it up, but there's a temple there. We're going to have a little walk around to it. And as you can see, there's a moat that goes all the way around it. I'm not sure how we bright the cameras because it's absolutely fucking blinding. So I got the old shades on. And someone says to me, why do we always look like shit? Well, I'm always wearing a motorbike out for a start. Or my cap, so my hair's the least of my worries. So let me flip. It's got a moat all the way around it. And when I visited uh, Cambodia a few years back, there's actually temples that look very similar. Obviously this was the, the part of the Khmer Empire, because Cambodia wasn't too far. Because obviously the Khmer Empire went from 
Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Laos, all the way up to southern China, I believe. A beautiful place to have a nice little walk around. I've got a fascination with big trees. Yeah, they're made out of the exactly the same stone. This is like a volcanic rocky, it's exactly the same as what they built Anchor Watt. Anchor Watt's built with this, uh, with this like uh, lava stone or whatever it's called, with a sandstone front. Yeah, exactly the same. But to be fair, this looks in pretty good nick, considering how old it is. Obviously they've got some places where it's a bit knackered like that, but look here, look at the detail here. Hindi carvings. Yeah, this part, this part is exactly the same one here, uh, Ang Anchor Wat and Bayon and that kind of temples there. Uh, look at the top of that. It's not cast, somebody chiseled that by hand. Depicting somewhere at the top of these arms there. As you walk in, you have the little, uh, little shrine on the centre where people give the offerings. That's all the way around. Yeah, over the time the ground shifted on it and that's what's pulling these cracks in there. <clears throat> exactly the same start stone archways there. <coughs> exactly the same as the, the some of the temples stand cool. There's Bam the translator. Peaceful day as well, we've got some nice grounds here. <coughs> like I say, it's early, about 20 kilometres, maybe 30 kilometres. Something like that, I tend to is very long out here on the bark. But here uh, tomorrow, <coughs> I'm seeing you around, but tomorrow uh, the new adventure begins. I've got a, uh, a seven hour taxi. And I'm going to um, Ko Chang. Ko Chang's an island, and uh, basically it's a nature reserve. So uh, I'm going to get myself a little bungalow or something there and uh, try and make a little bit more footage. I know that on the other videos that the editing is absolutely piss poor. I do admit that. I just I just haven't got the fucking patience to do it. I'll be honest with you. So what I'm going to do from now on is just like straight 10 minute videos or 15 minute videos, no editing. Just so you can see exactly what it's like, exactly what I'm seeing. Like you're... See, there must have been some kind of shift in the in the ground here, that's why it's just falling down. But apart from that, it's a pretty good neck. <coughs> I noticed the ones at uh, Cambodia, all the bricks are blown out of the front there. But these ones are in pretty good neck. Obviously, that that bit there, that's been repaired, that's been doctored up before. But the old bits down here, where, where, the, where the foundations are, it's in pretty good neck. To be honest. I'm not, not exactly sure the date of these temples. But I think they were built around about 10th century. I'm sure it's something like that. 
when uh, the Khmer Empire was at its peak. Beautiful around here. I see you got a moat all the way around. Someone else chilling, a couple of selfies. It's like these trees are made. Look at these, so like these trees here. Look at the root ball just hanging out. We'll have a lot of water on there, we've got some lily pads. Yeah, so tomorrow, crack of dawn, Ko Chang. Like I say, we've got to get a taxi there, so. There was other two options because Surin is that isolated. There's no airport, there's no train station. You've literally got one buzz every night that leaves out of the city. So you, the options are pretty limited. So I weighed up the options, time versus money. And I think the, the best option is to get a taxi. The, the taxi from Surin to I always say this wrong, Cantabure, which is not far from Trat, is 3,500 baht. And then I'm gonna have to get a mini bus and a taxi and a ferry to get to Ch Ko Chang. But hopefully we'll be there for back the afternoon tomorrow. And I'll do some other footage down. So let me just spin you. Yeah, these are all these steps where you bring my neck on them. Oh, the old bones. Oh, look how peaceful it is here. I haven't actually seen any of them big monitor lizards up here. Normally, it's quite, quite everywhere, but I'm not sure if we because we're in the centre of uh, the centre here. There's some big lily pads there. Put it one way there, there's no way I'd get in there. I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any uh, crocodiles as far up. I know they've got crocodiles and whatever it is, um, on, just off the Mekong River. But I don't think they're this far up. Well, I hope they're not anyway. But eh. Uh, this will do for this video. Like I say, I'm going to do unedited videos because editing is just absolutely piss poor. I need uh, I need up the game really, but just travelling around, it just takes you out of you all day. You do a little bit of filming, you take a few photos, you have, you have some to eat, you enjoy the afternoon, and by the time by the time night comes, night time comes, you're completely that done in. But keep your eyes out for the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.